Hi there, I'm Moise Ura, and in this video, we are going to deploy a Laravel app on the LightSail server. So for this purpose, I have IAM user access of an account. Let me open this. I'm going to log in this account using email and password. After that, I have to go in the AWS account and the management console. And then in the light sale. Now we need to create an instance. You can change your region from here. I'm going to leave it as it is. Then you need to select a platform. I'm going to use the Linux Unix and then you need to select a blueprint. I'm going to use a lamp and then I need to create a key. For this purpose, I will click on this and then create. I can give any name to the key, but I'm going to use the name of my project for the key as well. Now you can only download this private key once. I am going to download this key and save into the desktop. Now I'm going to leave the plan as it is. I'm going to change the name of my instance as my project name. Then I'm going to click on the create instance to create the instance. It will take some time to set up my instance. I cannot close this tab or reload this tab. Otherwise it will just vanish and then I will not be able to get this again. So let's wait for a minute. Now it has set up. Now I can uh, use the SSH terminal of it. Uh, but it says an error occurred and we were unable to connect or stay connected to your instance if this instance has just started up try again in a minute or two we have to wait one or two minutes again now it's connecting and we can do one more thing here we can copy this ip of the instance and paste in a new tab and open it it will show this page that means the instance is working perfectly now you can use this terminal if you prefer to use an online terminal for setting up the project but I will prefer my local machine terminal so I'm going to open it and I will go to the directory where my e is located so let's go into the desktop here is my key first I need to allow access to this key for this purpose I'm going to write a command It will ask the password of my local machine. Then I need to write a command to connect this terminal to my instance. And here I need to write uh, my IP address. My instance IP address. And say yes for it. Now it's connected to the instance. The very first thing I need to do is to update the packages. So for this purpose, I am going to write sudo and then I need to create a directory. So I am going to write a command for it. So I have created a directory in the opt directory and then bitnami. There is the project directory I have created. I need to allow access to this directory. For this purpose, I'm going to copy this and then just type here is sys invalid mode bitnami. Now it worked now. Now I need to go into the folder. In this folder, I am going to clone my project from the Git repository. It is asking for the username of my GitHub account. So I'm going to add here. Now I need a password, but GitHub removes the password method from here. So I need to create a personal token into the GitHub account and then copy and paste here. Instead of using password, we need to is the personal access account here. For this purpose, I am going to GitHub and here we can go inside the settings
here's the personal access token my previous token has been expired so let's delete it and i need to generate a new token so i'm going to use the classic one uh, i need to type my password let's name the token let's use the previous one and here we can define the scope for our access token so i'm going to just select the repo that will give the personal access token access to full control of private repositories and then generate the key and i'm going to copy this and paste it in the terminal here so it has cloned my repository from the github so this is my uh, project directory name we need to allow access to this directory for this purpose i am going to write a command now i need to go into this directory we have the project inside this folder now we need to run the composer install to install all the dependencies of the app it is successfully completed now we need to allow the access to the storage folder in sub directories of storage then we need a password for this purpose we are going to write the command cat nami application password this password will be used in php my admin now i need another terminal to start my php admin open another shell let's go into the desktop again where is our key now we need to write a command again then i need to type a name of my key then again with dummy at the rate and we can we can just copy our ip address again from here now it's running now we can access the php my admin using this the default username is root and the password we just copied from the terminal let's paste it here and login now we need to create a database for my app let's see laravel the database has been created here now i need to update my env file to add the uh, database configuration okay the db database name is laravel and default username is root and now we need to paste the password here and to save it we are going to just say control x select y and press enter it will update my env file with the updated password now i need to generate a random key for my app so let's use this now we need to migrate our database to the app for this purpose we need to write this command it is successfully done now we need to seed our database also done now we need to set up the virtual host for this purpose we need to write a command sudo nano and then the file path opt nami apache conf it will create a file with pubnews admin vhost.conf in which we will going to add some configuration i'm just copying and paste this 
here you need to keep in mind that you have to follow the structure otherwise it will not work perfectly so let's exit this now we need to again create another file with just a single change let me just copy paste the command this is same as before just here is the https and we are going to just copy and paste the command you can pause the video and write it as it is and you need to know here is i just added the project path here so you have to put your project path here and here and where it's needed so keep in mind that you need to do it otherwise it will not going to work let's say here i added my project directory path and then again i added it here so you have to take care of this now i need to restart the server for this purpose i am going to write another command now my server has been restarted let's go and see if it's working perfectly or not now it's working so we need to add the minus r here to it will allow the daemon to read all the sub directories of the storage folder so you will not get any error so now my project is working very fine hope you guys learned something from this video don't forget to subscribe our channel code mode